Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Cheryl with Tinker's Cart Art, who wants to paint a few quick little strawberries this morning. They're super easy, and it is that time of year. June comes, and it comes so fast. The strawberry season is here, and the strawberry festivals and strawberry picking. So I thought I would just do a, cup, a quick little tutorial on how easy it is just to paint those strawberries. You can incorporate in them in still lifes in all sorts of decorative ways in your paintings. Good morning, Karen. Hey, Karen. My Karens are here. Good morning. Happy Saturday morning. I'm so glad to see you guys joining me here. And I'm going to just quickly show you with some acrylic paints how to paint um, some quick and easy strawberries. Hi, Maureen. Nice to see you. I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see what we're doing here. So hang on, I'm going to turn you down. I'll get going because it's just going to be a quick and easy little tutorial this morning. So let me, I'm always um, upside down. So before I even start, I'm going to move you around so you can see me painting the strawberries the right way. All right, so it's pretty simple. I am just using some basic colors, some primary colors. We've got our red, our yellow, and green. I always have black and white. And it's going to be a quick little technique. I'm just going to go in. I've sketched a few strawberries out here. Let me get it so you can see. Okay. I'm going to start with some orange. I've taken just my red and yellow and made up a nice orange. I'm going to paint them fairly quickly. I want to blend the colors before they dry. I start on the left side of the strawberry and I paint in some orange. I'm going to do a few at a time because I'm going to work quick and then I'll do it again and demo it a little bit again. Orange on one side, I'm going putting it on kind of quickly. I'm painting on paper here and as you guys know sometimes the paper dries pretty quick when the paint is on the paper as opposed to the canvas you have a little more blending time. I've just put some orange on the left side of the canvas the middle of the strawberry is just the primary red. I'm going into a maroon for the right side. That just gives me some lights and darks so that my strawberry will appear rounded and three-dimensional. Now, if you like to work in this sort of technique and you find your paint is drying too fast, you can always get some extenders for your acrylic paints that do slow the drying time. In the beginning, I know it's a little, you're a little hesitant to jump in and work maybe as fast as I'm working. So you could always try that extender. But it's just a little basic uh, formula. It's just some orange on the left side, maroon on the right, and my regular red in the middle. If it's streaky and you don't like the way you can sort of see through it, you can certainly go back and just brush on a little more of any of those colors that you like. If you wanted a little brighter orange or a little darker maroon, you can play around with that, but basically it's a quick technique. We're going to go back again. It's just the orange on the left. You could just do a few. I do tend to dry my brush off in between sometimes. I don't want to drag too much of that orange into my red. Just your primary red here. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments because I'm keeping an eye there, so I'd love to hear from you what you like to paint. And I just really thought of strawberries this morning. So here we are with a quick little painting of strawberries. Strawberries are pretty much uh, the same shape, but they vary. So some could be a little more round. You see those little berries that are round. Some could be tapered on the bottom more. Some have the little bumps on the bottoms there. And now I look at them They're They're blended pretty well, but I'm going to go back and maybe add a little bit more orange just to blend that. You have time to play around with it. Let's go. I, I drew a few over here that are a little bit different shape. So we've got, again, we'll go with the orange, more of a pointy bottom. This has got the big, big, a big one there. This one sort of some of the shape like that little pointy bit. And some red in the middle. What do you guys think? Is this uh, quick and easy? It's very doable. You guys could all do this. It's so simple. I'm blending my orange in a little bit there before I go to my maroon. That one's much more yellow, which is nice because you want them to vary. Uh, even though this is a formula I'm doing, I'm painting in a form, like in a formula, it doesn't mean they have to all look the same. You can make some a little darker overall, some a little lighter. Vary the shapes and it'll look very believable. 
mixed some of my room maroon. I mixed my maroon actually with just some red and black. Some's a little lighter, some's a little darker. You can see how quickly this is drying, but we can work with it. It's not a problem at all. Just kind of keep going back, spreading it out. I know I'm, I'm going fairly quickly, so I'm not concentrating exactly on these shapes. You can always paint them a little neater when you're painting. I just wanted to give you the gist of strawberries. They look very strawberry-like. These guys are a little darker. Some are a little lighter. Super duper easy. Extend a Karen. It's just a, a medium. I don't know if I have one here, but I will look up some and I'll put them in the post, uh, the comments of this post. So you can see it's just a little uh, medium you put with your paints and it just extends the drying time. You could get more of an oil painting feel with it. Hi, Mandy. Good morning. It's so good to see you. Hope everyone's well at your place. And so the little stems, the little leaves. Because we're painting in acrylics and the paint is a little more translucent than if we were working with oil, say. So if I were to take my green now and try to do my little stems on the cap, my, my little leaves, can you see how you can see right through um, to, the, to the red? So what I do is a little base coat is I just take the color I want to use and I add white. White is great for uh, giving your paint some opaque, you know, making it a little more opaque. So even if I almost paint them white or a light green, over the strawberry that gives me a base to do my nice leaves on as soon as that dries and we know that that is drying super quick today so i'm just doing these randomly not really paying attention to the colors because i am using it just as an underpainting for my little caps of my strawberries has anybody had fresh strawberries yet i've seen them out there there that's just like a little base coat. So that's just so that you can um, have something to paint on afterwards. While I'm here, I might just take my green. I'm just taking the green on my brush. I'm putting the side of my brush a tiny bit into a dark green. And those are just going to be my stems. I'm using a flat brush. I'm pressing a little bit, lifting a little bit, and I get that little calmer stroke there. You can even take your green with a little of your dark on one corner, white on one corner, and just in that one stroke, you've got a dark and a light to shade and to highlight. It's kind of fun technique. It's all little brush strokes that you can practice. I know they seem a little difficult at first, but if you do a bunch of them, just a bunch on your page, it's press and pull, press and pull, press and lift. And if you'd like, you can just, like I said, get a little bit of the dark on one corner of your brush, a little light on one corner, I always tap it off a bit. And now on these little shapes, can you see the difference? You've got a dark and a light. The light's a little hard to see on the white background, but you've got your shading in one stroke. You don't have to go back and add it. So it's kind of cool. I'm going to add some little stems to these guys. And you can see that these are dried already. The same idea to do those little leaves. I am loading in with my green taking a little tiny bit of the dark green a tiny bit of the white just pat it down once and i'm going to go right over what i've done here and you can see now i do not have that red showing through i have a nice leaf darks and lights on both you know on one side dark one side light and i have to repeat that process pretty often to get those colors back I, once you do a few of them you've lost your paint so you go back and you just again your green, a little white, a little dark green, and just press and pull, press and pull. Those little stems could go just on the cap of the strawberry. You could put some coming out in the back. Like I said, the important thing is just varying them a bit, not having them all identical. Press, press, press. I'll put a one coming on the back there. These guys we need to do, so I'm just quickly just doing the same exact thing. Press and pull, press and pull. This little leaf could be used for all sorts of things. If you're painting flowers, painting a still life, this technique works beautifully for leaves. I'm simply just pressing and pulling, pressing and pulling. You can curve to the left, you could curve to the right, you can make it straight. If you were painting a still life and you wanted a little uh, vine to come out of the 
the floral arrangement. You could just do one of these kind of things. I've, I've, got, I've lost my darks and lights, but just reload when you need to. But you can see how you can, you know, use them all different ways. Nice brush strokes. So I want to add some to that top strawberry, and then we'll put the little seeds on. And you can see really how quickly you can work, work along with these. Perfect. All right. So let's do some seeds on there. I am going to just use a little tiny round brush. The seeds are yellow. Then we'll shade them with some dark maroon. Yellow is so transparent. It's not going to show if we put them on here. Look at you see right through it. That's why, again, I add some white. So I'm going to make up a very, almost white, very light mixture, just so you can see those seeds. I don't want you to have to underpaint them all. They're tiny and then have to go over. Seeds. Middle of the strawberry. They're a little, like a little comma stroke. I put them more straight in the middle. And then I curve to the right on the right side. I curve to the left on the left side. And those are my little seeds. We are gonna add one more step to them, but let's fill them in on the others. Little tiny strawberries, you hardly need to, you know, they're not that big. You can make them kind of light. Bigger ones, you have more, you can define them a little more, but they're basically little comma strokes. So what the stroke is, is I'm just, I've got my little brush, I am just pressing down, and then I'm pulling it up and away, and you get that little thin tail. Some could almost be like little dots, a little straighter in the middle, curving to the edges. So bright and cheery, aren't they? And delicious this time of year. I love strawberries, but right now when they're fresh, it's a whole different fruit. Super, super, super easy. Oh, forgot one. Look at this little guy now. Okay, now we just shade it with some of the dark maroon. I'm just going to take that little bit of maroon that I have mixed with some black, and you are just going to go on the outside edge of your strawberries. I tend to go on the left side on the left side, the right side on the right. It's just, again, a little formula just to get you going, just to give you somewhere to, to start, and then you can fool around with it and and make it your own too. But I, that it's just a little pocket that those little seeds are in. That little shadow just gives it a little bit of, of a, a dimensional look of those seeds being right in those little pockets. I'm not being too careful. I'm not fussing too much. I'm just getting them on the sides. And that's it, so easy something you can practice. You can try it on the paper, the mixed media paper. I'm using a Bristol board. I happen to have it handy. Whatever you have, some odd canvas. Just to practice them. I'm going to work on a painting of using them in a still life. I'm thinking like a big blue striped bowl or lime green. I'm going to play around with that today and maybe we can add these strawberries to that bowl in a still life. So there you go. What do you think? Easy peasy.